Hi developers, welcome back to course step by step. My name is Anil and uh, in this part of Laravel 9, we will talk about Composer. I will tell you what is Composer, where we can use it, how we can use it, from where we can uh, download and install it, right? So let's start with the definition or basic things about Composer. So first question you may ask, what is Composer? See, this is a dependency manager for PHP. And this point, I'm very sure that many developers don't know what is the meaning of dependency manager here. And if you are a fresher or uh, new in PHP, then I'm very sure you are not aware about it, right? So now let's see what is dependency manager. And for that, I am just going to take a simple example so that I can just explain it better and in an easy way. So whenever we are developing uh, any UI for uh, a project or application that times uh, we use some external libraries like uh, jquery jquery ui or bootstrap why we use these kind of libraries to save our time because uh, these libraries have lots of feature and functionality and we can just plug in play, uh, and play these features right and we can save our lots of time and lots of cost also right and uh, how we can just use them we can simply uh, use a cdn package or we can download these uh, uh, libraries to our system and use them and same thing we can do with the php in php there is a lots of library external libraries also so we can use them to save our time and project cost and now the question is how we can use uh, these libraries there is a two way one is we can download this library and we can install in our local PHP server and uh, our uh, live PHP server, right? But this is a little bit complex project. Second thing is a composer. What composer will provide? It will provide a single command solution. If you are using composer with your project, you just need to run a single command and that library will be installed in your uh, project. And after that, you can simply use it, right? This is so easy. And now you may have uh, asked that what kind of library we have in PHP. See, there's a lots of libraries. For example, you want to uh, generate PDF in your uh, PHP project. That time you can use Composer. So why I said PHP project? Because Composer you can also use with Laravel, with the Symphony, with the YII, with the core PHP also. Right. There is a lots of framework that actually support to the composer. I will show you the list also. So uh, let's say you want to uh, use the uh, PDF generator or you want to use any authentication token like passport or uh, uh, JWT token or you may want to generate the unique ID or UUID that time you can also use uh, external libraries. Right. So I can just show you an uh, example. So let's say you want to use a uh, PDF generator in your system. So just say that PDF uh, generator PSP or you can say that Laravel, right? And uh, here you will find some package. Here you can see that a Laravel DOM PDF. This is a GitHub uh, uh, repository for that library and here you just need to install one command composer required and after that you just need to run the uh, you just have to put the your package name and that library is installed in your project and after that you can simply use them with that simple code right so these uh, uh, I will tell you in uh, detail in the upcoming video now let's focus on about the composer right so this is a PHP dependency manager and uh, it can install the lots of package with a single command in your project and that can also hel help you to update the project and framework and uh, actually composer support lots of framework I will show you the list also at the last and uh, if you want to take an example uh, let's say you are previously you are a node developer or a react or angular developer then you must aware about the npm and this is very similar like the uh, npm for node and composer for php so now the next uh, thing is let's talk about the steps that how many steps we have to uh, just perform if you want to create a project in uh, laravel so first of all you have to install the composer 
and I mention here once what is the meaning of once because many developers think that uh, if you want to make a project in Laravel every time we have to install the composer in Laravel no just install the composer only once and Laravel only once after that you can just make your project and run your uh, project that's it and even in the uh, next part I will show you how you can install the Laravel and how you can make the project and run it so how we can install it so first thing is that in your system you must have PHP or you can install the XAMPP XAMPP will auto automatically provide the PHP setup in your system and after that you can uh, download the composer and install the setup or you can directly install the composer setup with the command line so now let's see how we can install it so just simply go to the Google and simply put here composer PHP and you will get the first link get composer.org and you you will find an option of uh, download and whenever you will click on the download and uh, run uh, one file will be downloaded and you can just simply run it you just need to select some options next next we don't need any proxy and that's it and uh, in, this is installing within that time I can just also tell you that if you want to just uh, download and in, uh, run the setup with that way you can also install it otherwise you can use these four commands actually if you will just run only three commands still your composer will be installed next command is actually just uh, delete the composer setup from your system that's okay and uh, our composer is installed now let's simply just open the command line and simply put here composer if you find that uh, command not recognized that means composer is not installed and if you find that uh, there is some command list or something that means composer is installed if you want to check the version you can check here uh, composer minus minus version and you can see that 2.3.5 right so now let's talk about the second uh, option that how we can uh, install it just copy this uh, this first command and paste in the command line and what it, it will actually do it will just copy the setup from uh, getcomposer.org website to your local system after that let's uh, verify this setup and you can see that installer verified now you can just uh, run this composer setup and now it will just download some dependencies and after that your uh, system is ready to use the composer and uh, let me just copy the last command also and it will basically nothing but it will just uh, remove the temporary setup from your system as you know our uh, composer installed and if you want to uh, unlink the composer setup it will not going to uninstall the composer it will only unlink the composer setup right and uh, let's open the new command line why I am opening the new command line because sometime if uh, uh, your command line is uh, opened before let's say you have two or three command lines and uh, in one command line you are just install the composer and you are checking to the uh, second one maybe it will tell that command is not, not recognized just open the fresh new command line and then run composer and here we go you can see that composer is still working great with the command line also and we can check the version 2.3.5 and here you can see that this is the latest version thank you so much with that way we can install the composer in our system in next part I will tell you how we can install the Laravel and we can run our first project and please support me by subscribe like and comment uh, your valuable feedback thank you so much